Hey, what's up, guys? Russ with RWG Research here. Just working on the uh, coil winder for the EPG. I am live right now for those of you who are over here. Got my uh, little camera hanging from the ceiling up there, my glasses. And uh, yeah, so here's the wire winding jig. It is not done yet, but I did want to show you what I did. Told you guys I was going to put a spring and latch on here. And uh, I know I uh, we thought of some ideas while we were live. This is what I came up with. It seems to work pretty well. This is way too long, but it's all I got right now. I gotta get a shorter, shorter bolt there. But I've got a spring on both sides, and I literally just cut a small section out right here so that my third wheel is in the same right spot. And uh, this does allow me to take this, take this rim out, set you down right here. So I can just take this rim right on out of here. Pop it right on back in here. Now I did want to show you what I did for my old band. My old ring. This right here is uh, some really good stuff. I paid $2.47 for 13 feet of this stuff. It's called Stretch Magic. And it is designed for um, beading and jewelry. And what it is, is it's stretchy cord. Uh, they make different sizes. 5 millimeter, 7, or 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. 1 millimeter, 1.5, and 1.8 millimeter. Um, I actually have here the 1.5 millimeter. Okay, and what I did is I told you guys I have to, uh, I have to be able to take this apart and get my toy toroid on there. And uh, so I'm gonna do that, and um, I'm able to take this apart. Sorry, I'm looking at my live viewers over there. I'm taking this apart and uh, putting in the through my toroid all right so I'm gonna show you what I got here I think you'll like this all right here I have some and this thing never focuses this close right there you go those are uh, twist together uh, clasps or whatever you call them uh, these are called barrel clasps if we can focus all right now what I did is I cut the uh, cut the little prongs out of it and stuck my cord through the center of it all right and then tied a knot pulled it through there's my end all right so I've got one on each end this is 13 foot long the reason I made it so long is because I'm gonna wrap it four times on there so I just wrap it through there four times and uh, put my connector on there and I'm good to go and this will not pull out you can see how stretchy it is okay that's how stretchy it is and it's it's actually a really really good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and t uh, put this together because I don't have any toroids in there at the moment so I'm gonna wrap this once like this twice like this and now I have a set of four of these and then they just go on here like this. And that's my band. Now I do put some tape around the uh, the knot there or the uh, connector. And the reason I do that is because it flies around and it wants to hit. Because it's heavier than the rest of it, it wants to hit stuff. It kind of gets pulled out as it comes around this really sharp corner. So I just put a little piece of tape on there, just to keep it from uh, from going anywhere. All right, and uh, I've got my battery hooked up here with my potentiometer, and I'm just gonna let it go and see what it does. I kind of bent my rim earlier. While I was putting this thing back together. There we go. I think it just wasn't together tight. That's much better. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I got for the spindle. And this is not finished yet. Um, I'm going to add some more counterweights on this side. But what I got here is a uh, aluminum bar. And I just threaded uh, threaded two nuts, or long bolts I mean, through here. Set up a jam nut here. 
and here all right and I'm gonna put a spring and a slide washer a spring right here I didn't well I had it right here there it is this spring goes on here and I, I gotta get a bigger one and uh, it can presses against here and holds this tight so it's got some tension on it I will have to put a washer on either side of this uh, but what I want to do right now is uh, spin spin a coil up for you so I'm gonna set the camera up so you guys can watch uh, again this is not finished I will have a little guide wire here really stiff hard wire that holds this in place if you guys want to see the EPG it's sitting right there I had it on here earlier if you guys are watching the live show so let me get this set up and we'll rock and roll all right old TV wire yep all right so here we go I got a spool of old wire on here recycled wire I want to keep it I just want to transfer it to another spool just to prove that this thing works the way I think it's going to work again I really need a tensioner on here but at the moment I don't have one, but I don't stop running. This thing should just run until it's out. We'll find out. I'm just wrapping this onto a spool, mainly because I don't have anything that I can keep this wire nice on. So, here we go. I am recording. Okay. <laughs> just make sure. Nice and slow, your starters. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Switch polarity, hold on. Okay, switch polarity on my motor. It's a DC motor, so 12 volt DC is what I'm running. I guess I could have flipped my spool. <laughs> ah, well. a bit on that spool did you get the idea so there you go um, somebody's over here in the chat room asking about a counter yes I'll be adding a counter I will either be using pulse fire or I have one other idea that actually Bill Williams gave me and it consists of a calculator and a switch and I'm actually gonna put a magnet on here hooked up to a hall sensor hooked up to the very first push button on a calculator and put one plus one enter that'll give me two and then every time it hits the equals it should add one add one add one add one and there you go there's a very cheap inexpensive calc uh, counter so that's the way I'm going to be doing that uh, I'm going to show you guys this really quickly this is actually where my EPG is going to sit um, these are uh, old conveyor legs you can see right here and uh, you unloosen these two and this is sliding it slides inside of here so I can actually uh, slide this up and down so uh, that's it
um, that's my update. For those of you who are alive right now, hello. There's 18 of you out there hanging out. And uh, that's it. I gotta get up early and work long hours, so I think I'm off. I guess I can uh, set the EPG up here and show you what it's gonna look like without this further time being. Just like that. And wrap it away. And I can just turn this and continue wrapping. Slide my coil on and off there when I want to do a new wrap. And I'm rocking and I'm rolling. So that's it. This Russ, RWGResource.com. Thanks everybody for your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I greatly appreciate the support. It's, uh, it's a big help to know there's people out there watching, waiting, and uh, checking stuff out and building your own experiments and doing your own thing. Wonderful. So uh, that's it. Peace out, everybody. RWGResearch.com if you want to see more and what in the heck I'm building. It's over there. Later.